dubious man. It is. Oh. Stop being such a fucking degenerate. Y'all don't represent truth, y'all don't represent justice, y'all represent evil. What's up, degenerates? Welcome back to Degeneration Nation, or as always, if you're new here, welcome. Today's idiot goes by the name of Smooth Operator. He's a sovereign citizen, and I use air quotes for that because he's horrible at it. Really, really bad. So he tries his right to travel nonsense, and it fails, like it always does with any sovereign citizen. But that's not going to stop him. Thank you to Van Balian for letting me know about this guy, and I will definitely keep an eye on him, because I'm sure we'll see much more of him in the future. So, without further ado... Roll that beautiful bean footage. I'm getting pulled over. It is 9.44 a.m. I'm in the city of Virginia Beach. I have two officers behind me. I'm starting to record. I'm starting my phone camera. I'm working on my other camera. How many cameras does one person need? The only thing it shows with all of these cameras is that this is done on purpose. Idiots. How's it going? I see your driver's license and registration and insurance for this vehicle, please. May I see your driver's license? Everything that I have is contained in here, and I have a camera going just to let you know that okay. that's what this is. May I see your driver's license? I'm not concerned with documents which you, you produce, okay? Well, this, this is what I have is my identification. Okay. It's uh, everything is contained in here. My uh, ID is uh, copied. Okay. Right here on the back of this. Yeah, a worthless information packet from a sovereign citizen website. <laughs> These idiots never learn. Yes, I do. And what do you have? Um, I have my sidearm, which okay. is a, uh, a Glock. Okay. You have your sidearm, which is a Glock? Yes, sir. Okay, and what else? Um, I mean, I, I think I have a knife somewhere. Okay. And where is your Glock right now? It's on my holster on my hip. Okay. It's uh, open carry right here. Finally, a sovereign citizen gets something right. He's correct. In West Virginia, no permit is needed as long as you're over 18. Bravo. Never thought I'd ever say that. Would you relinquish that weapon to me for safekeeping? Um, not right now. I wouldn't like to do that. Are you stupid or something? Do you have a valid driver's license, sir? Um, everything that I have is right there. The question is, do you have a valid driver's license? I reserve my right not to answer any questions at this time. Okay. And like I said, everything, I'm, I'm not trying to be a pain. I love when sovereign citizens use this line because they are too dumb to realize that's exactly what they're doing. Hello? Dude, Hello? Hello? Anybody home? Oh. It's just everything that I have is right there in that paperwork. Okay. Um, if you would just do me the professional courtesy of reading it real quick, okay. it shouldn't take more than about two minutes. All right. And um, just so you know, um, I'm a peaceful guy. Um, I, if you want me to like, uh, like get out at any point, or if you plan on taking me into custody, okay. Well, if if you do, just know I'm peaceful. There'll be no need for you to use any force of any kind. I'll comply to any lawful order given. Yet, any time they are given a lawful order, they'll just turn around and say that wasn't a lawful order. Pick one. You can't have both. It's not how it works. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Is this just a genetic thing with you? Is it congenital? Did, you, did your mother drop you on your head when you were a the baby? Buzzard. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. All right, sir. I have just given the officer my right to travel documents. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please pull out your Black's Law Dictionary version 2. He's about to teach us the ways. Um, I have told them that I will be peaceful that I will comply with any lawful orders that they give me. Um, I've told them I reserve my rights under the Fifth Amendment. Um, I'm actually about to call my attorney. Hey buddy, I'm getting pulled over, so I might need you in a couple hours if you can't get a hold of me to uh, 
Check Virginia Beach Jail. Um, they're calling up for uh, some backup here, and I'm. I don't know if they'll pull me over, if they'll let me, you know, walk home from here, but um, I guess uh, we'll see how it goes, so wish me luck. Luck in Sovereign Citizens is just like water and oil. They don't mix. Um, I have a right to travel, so saith the United States Constitution. This is a popular lie that Sovereign Citizens use, and unsurprising to everyone no sovereign citizen has ever proven it because there's absolutely nothing out there that states as such i have a notice of understanding and intent and claim of right um that explains my right to travel there's the supreme court precedents here everything that i've given the officers is it's false is typed up um it's all been notarized um you know everything in here should be it's law is upheld I should be free to go here in a minute. I've got my dinner here that I'm planning on finishing, hopefully, in the very near future. Um, it's raining outside, so I, I kind of hope they wouldn't make me walk in this. All I'm asking is for the officers to simply be professionals. He's an ignorant little fool. I'm not trying to agitate the situation at all, obviously, because they're armed, and it's kind of got me nervous because I don't want them to hurt me. They aren't out there to hurt you. That's just stupid. However, it doesn't look good when you refuse to give up your firearm, open carry or not. This will put the officers on edge and their job is already stressful enough without you adding to it. Because they don't know the law, that would be a, a terrible shame. <laughs> Um, I, I have the right to travel. Um, this, like I said, constitutional law. Okay, this is a current book. Kent versus Douglas here. Justice Douglas is the right to travel is a part of the liberty of which a citizen cannot be deprived without due process of law under the Fifth Amendment. And he says that freedom of movement across frontiers in either direction and inside of frontiers as well was a part of our heritage. And here we go with the same old, tired, right-to-travel, sovereign citizen argument that's been debunked time after time after time. They really need a new script because this one doesn't work, nor will it work. No sovereign citizen has ever won this argument. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. And, and what was your name, sir? I didn't get your name. A-L-B-R-I-G-H-T. I don't shake hands with okay. people I don't know, sir. Understandable. I have no idea whether or not you have any kind of communicable diseases. <laughs> I hope not. Okay. We're going to take a closer look at your vehicle to see if there's a VIN on it. Okay. okay. For starters. Okay. The VIN plate that's on the dashboard, which is supposed to be viewable by any law enforcement agency or any inspecting agency, has been blocked with some kind of tape device. Okay. Is is the VIN plate on your door still intact? Um, yes it is. Okay. Is the VIN plate on the firewall of your vehicle still intact? Um, it should be. Okay. I haven't uh, modified or changed the v uh, car in any okay. way. The right. automobile is how I guess it was from the factory. Okay. The first document I'm going to issue to you, sir, is a Virginia Uniform notification. Okay. Indicating that your privilege to drive in the Commonwealth are suspended, which means you cannot operate a motor vehicle on these highways in the Commonwealth. The second document I'm going to issue to you is an unregistered motor vehicle. Okay. Okay. The Commonwealth law it indicates that in order for you to drive a vehicle on the roadways in the Commonwealth, the vehicle must be registered in the Commonwealth and or another Commonwealth and or state as prescribed by law. Okay. Based on what I see there, that is not a plate that's been issued by any federal agency, state agency, county agency, or city agency in any manner. Boom. Roasted. Okay. Okay. Which tells me that that vehicle is not properly registered. Okay. Okay. Court date is June 18th, be at 9 o'clock. Okay. The traffic court room B, at this address here, right here in the city of Virginia Beach. Your signature is required right there. Okay. Your signature is not a mission of guilt. It just simply states you understand what the summons is being issued for. This block right underneath is checked, which indicates you can prepay this if you choose to do so. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to allow that. I'm going to require you to respond to the court and address the court as to why you choose to drive a vehicle on its commonwealth without the proper documentation. <laughs> and in 
that yes, document sir. that you served to me, which means that document is now my property and is evidence of the Commonwealth. Okay. Because you represent that to be your true documentation, correct? Okay. Yes, sir. The driver's license that you have copied, which was previously issued to you by the Commonwealth, where is that document at this time, sir? I'm not sure where it is at this time. Okay. This brings us to the notification of suspension, okay? Based on you telling me you don't know where your license is at at this time, that's the block I'm going to check. Okay. Okay? And I will give you a copy of this form. The original form will be returned to the DMV, and they will serve due notice on you as it's required. Okay. So you're going to confiscate the other document that I let yes, you read? Yes, that, okay. become, that becomes a state document. Okay. Because you're representing yourself as an individual. Okay. No party of the government. Okay. Right? Well, no, I'm is a that citizen. Under, is that no, it's not a. It's not one of those sovereign things. This is all okay. lawful. This has to do with the federal federal uh, Supreme Court cases that have been heard. Okay. Um, well, it has nothing to do with what you comply with the Commonwealth law. Well, the the Constitution. Of, well, I, I'll I'll talk to the judge about okay. it. I mean, right. I don't want to try to you know argue with okay. these guys. What, I know you're trying to do your job. What is your address, sir? Um, one one nine Bassett, Bassett Avenue. The same address that was in here. B a s s e t t. -T. Yes, sir. And that's Virginia Beach, 23452. Do you have insurance on that vehicle as required by Commonwealth law? Um, the, it's, it's just a car. It's it's not anything that would be uh, fall under the purview of the motor vehicle code. Okay. Signature's required right there, sir. Okay. Sorry. So you're telling me that if you operate a vehicle that belongs to you in the Commonwealth, you're not required, as every other citizen, to have it properly registered and insured? Um, you familiar with farm use tax? Mm -hmm. Farm use tax? Yes, sure. It's kind of a similar principle. It's a private automobile. Okay. Um, it's not used for commerce. It's only used for travel. Um, I don't use it for employee on the roads. Okay. Um, you know, the Supreme Court cases, I'm, if you read you this... you tell me that's a farm vehicle? No, I'm not. I'm just saying it's, it's a similar thing. And you said like every other citizen. I'm saying this, okay. you know. Well, in a farm vehicle, it has to be, be insured, right? Well, um, on the highway to take its produce or whatever. If it's it engages going. in commerce, yes. It's engaged in commerce, yes. which means it has to be insured. Yes, but I'm, I'm not involved in uh, commerce. Okay. I'm just traveling. I appreciate you guys uh, treating me professionally and giving me the opportunity to go to court for this. There's no reason to treat you otherwise, sir. Well, I, I'm just saying I appreciate it. What year is that motor vehicle, sir? Um, the car is a 2004 okay. Mustang. Uh, we're going to take a closer look at your vehicle to see if we can find the appropriate VIN plate on it. Okay. Can I find a Is that something I can retrieve for you real quick? You should be able to open up the door and look right at it and see if it's there. Yeah, well, I mean, that way you wouldn't have to get in the rain. Well, I'll, I'll retrieve the information myself and make sure it's true and accurate. Okay. Okay. Anything else in that vehicle I need to concern with other than the sidearm that you have? Uh, no, sir. I don't okay. consent to a search of the I'm vehicle. I'm just letting you know because if anything that's in there... I want to make sure that it's not something. Will we try? Oh, no, there's nothing okay. like that. There's nothing that's you dangerous. You have no electronic devices on you to set something off in that vehicle? No, there's okay. nothing then dangerous about any. This officer, okay? Okay. Well, my uh, my doors are locked. Okay. You got a power lock? Um, no, I don't. Okay. And I have your key on Um. Like I said, I don't consent to I'm you opening the car. Well, sir, I'm going okay. to open the door jam. Like I said, when you when you took the time to block that vent plate, all right, which means I cannot read it through the windshield, I have a right to enter that vehicle to retrieve a VIN number, whether it be in the door or in the engine compartment. Well, I'm, I'm not arguing with anything you're going to do. I'm just telling you I don't consent. Douchebag says what? What? <laughs> There is no record of that bet. Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. Thank you, thank you. Okay, now that I have first-hand knowledge of your vehicle, indicating that it's not on record in the Commonwealth, and you're not displaying tags from any other Commonwealth or state and or jurisdiction, as I previously told you, 
that if I see your vehicle operated on the motorway, i.e. the highway, I will stop you and I will seize your vehicle. You okay. to comply with the Commonwealth law, okay? Which one is to have the vehicle properly registered, two, to have it inspected, three, to have it insured. Okay. Okay? Also, I will publish that same notification to our agency indicating the same, that the same could be happening if driving down the road another day, he sees your vehicle operating, right. he will pull you over and do the same because you're not complying with the law. Okay. Because you choose not to comply with the Commonwealth law. Okay. okay. Which means that you have no desire to comply. Okay, that's uh, or like and, and you can argue it doesn't your, matter you can about any that of that court and, until you're satisfied. So okay. y'all y'all would confiscate the car even before I had a chance to go to court to determine whether yes, or not sir. I was we guilty. We'll remove it from the motorway because you have no right to be on the motorway as everybody else who is properly even if I haven't been found guilty yet. Mm -hmm. This idiot has no concept of the law at all. Even if matter, sir. It, okay. the courts will determine as to whether or not to return that to you. Okay, okay, and if, if I was found not guilty by the courts, would you all be okay with it after that? That's the time of the courts, sir. Okay. Okay, okay. well, I, I just want to clarify. We're just mediators. Okay. We're facilitators of the paperwork. Okay. Okay. You have any right. questions for me, sir? Um, I mean, can I go home? You can go home, but don't put your car on the roadway. Well, you I mean, can I, can I take it home? Not, not driving it, no, sir. Right. You can have it towed home. I can have it towed home? Yes, sir. Okay, so I have to have it towed from where it's at? From where it's at. Okay, yes, can I sit in it out of the rain until the, the tow vehicle gets here? You most certainly can, sir. Okay, well, thank you, gentlemen. Have right, a great day. Right, you too. All right, guys. All right, have guys. a good one. Take care. A little longer than a few minutes later. So the police are telling me at this time that if I try to travel in my car to get home, that they will seize my car. They will steal it from me. Oh, poor baby. This is Brandon, and it's been nice doing business with you folks in America. Cause you had a bad day, you take the one down, you sing a sad song. That's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it around. I'm also very interested in what you have to say, so please leave a comment below. Until next time, later days.